Hi, it's Chris. There's been a lot of discussion on both the Revel Point and the Creality forums talking about the accuracy that the two vendors are claiming. And I thought I'd try to delve into it a little bit and try to get an understanding. I found that Revel Point did a nice little presentation on how they measure the accuracy of the scanners. They actually use a ceramic ball bar and they do a single view so there's no alignment error. And they say when they do this, that the POP2 is accurate to more than 0.05 millimeters. I looked into trying to get one of these barbells that are ceramic so that we could independently check the accuracy of these different scanners. But these things cost thousands of dollars, so it's out of my budget. I've purchased three different sizes of these step blocks so that we can do a single view test of accuracy. Before you do any accuracy checks, you should always make sure that your scanner is within the specifications. So I did the calibration test and it said that my accuracy is qualified. I have three different step blocks. I have a very light coat of Magnaflux on because they're very shiny. I've got the POP2 mounted about 22 centimeters above the objects and it's in the excellent range on the interface. Here's the single frame test of three step blocks. I'm going to do a new scan, high accuracy, feature based, no texture. I'm going to try to stop it as fast as I can. So I got six frames. And according to uh, Revel Point, they're suggesting a 5.2 mesh quality and a 3 denoise value. What we got here? I've loaded the CAD model of the first step block and I've aligned the scan data to it. And did a comparison. The uh, range here is plus or minus 0.2 millimeters and the dark green is uh, plus or minus um, 0.05 millimeters. If you look at the results from the first step block comparison, uh, the thing that's really useful is here is we've got 25,000 plus points, but the mean is zero, which means it's very accurate and the noise or the standard deviation was 0 0.083 millimeters. Here are the results from the second step block. Again, plus or minus 0.2 millimeters and the dark green is plus or minus 0 0.05 millimeters. The statistics from the second block, again, the, the mean is zero, which is great, 21,000 points and the standard deviation is 0 0.068 millimeters. And this is the third step block with the uh, scan data aligned to it. And the results from the final scan, it shows that the 21,000 points and the means just a little bit off 0 0.001 millimeters and the standard deviation is 0 0.063. So what does this mean for the POP2? Well, the accuracy is very good. The mean values are almost zero, so it's right on target. And the precision or the standard deviation has been less than 0 0.1 millimeter. So we're somewhere between here and here. Well, we've been able to use some pretty inexpensive step blocks to check the single frame accuracy of the Revel Point POP2 scanner, and it's pretty decent. I'll put a link above to the test that I did on the turntable showing what the added alignment error is. Well, if this was helpful, please hit like and subscribe and have a great day.